All right, so this is Peter Schmidt. Welcome back. Um, and today we're looking at Breathe. Um, so yeah, this is the track. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, and you know, there to be an emotional cue for this this uh, this video that my buddy Aiden over at um, what's his Chronicle Productions. Um, uh, I'll have a link in the description for that, for the actual video for you, so you can listen to his awesome voice as well. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to kind of uh, dive in real quick, hopefully no longer than 10 minutes, uh, we'll see, uh, just to how I scored this. So uh, first off, he gave me a nice little backing track here, a little temp track to uh, what he kind of wanted to sound like, right? So he gave me some, so this is what he gave me. I'll just jump through it here. The darkness of the world reflects the darkness in man's heart. So obviously it's that. The weary traveler navigates their way through the black veil. Ah, ah, <laughs> sorry. Um, so yeah, it's, the, it's, this, uh, it's this really pretty, um, you know, uh, string heavy musicalness dimmers and hope crumbles upon itself a single breath can make the difference good stuff um but yeah so so i was trying to figure out how i wanted to go about not necessarily copying but like getting that same emotion that he was you know really trying to feel there and um so i first kind of started out with this this uh kind of messing around with the piano um, so I laid my piano down first here. And my idea behind, uh, this piano layer is, is, you know, obviously the progression to help move it along. Right. Right. Um. I guess it's short enough, I'll let it play. Using um, Native Instruments Noir. See if I break my computer by trying to open it up. There you go. Noir felt. Um, but the idea here um, behind the progression was to have it start at home, right? So it's it's minor, and then it's this E major chord that's home. So I wanted it, it to start at home and then just kind of like tease trying to go back to home, right? So I go up, the right? Go up, all the way up, but I never go back to home until the very ending chord here. So I try to tease tease this like there's that she's like going through not only not only does that help the build, but it also helps like the the you know, this her journey, right? Her going into the darkness, her, you know, looking for the light, her breathing, her you know, just this this it, it also helps with this emotional mentality of um um moving to, you know, breathing and awakeness right here. You can see the top left corner of this color come to life, right? Um, so yeah, and I think that having the the progression just really push itself, you know, come back home, come back home, and then we get this, um, yeah, and then we get, you know, continue to, you know, play with the listener, and then we finally arrive at home, and it's the breathe, and it's at breathe, and it's just, ah. So it's like, that, that, was, my, that was my goal for that. And then it's really just the, you know, the, uh, this, the embellishments. So we have this, you know, we have just some drones here, you know, nothing too, nothing too fancy. Uh, this is from Spitfire Audio, Neo. They have a really cool, pretty drone. Right, uh, beautiful drone, actually, Lil. <laughs> then I just have some strings. Really light side of aperture strings. So really just to help push that drone right 
you know, helped set the mood. Um, and then, you know, the biggest part is the violin. So it's just really trying to find, you know, really, you know, not only pretty ways of embellishing the chord, kind of like they, you know, kind of copying the idea of what uh, the director gave me, right? Um, but yeah. But yeah, coming out of, you know, using using a black hole. And so we come out of, you know, full, full wet, right? And we enter as it like kind of comes into focus. And the string I use for this is a performance sample solo violin, a very pretty. So just really pretty embellishments on those chords, right? We're still playing with the, uh, you know, the idea of, you know, going home. So, but just, <coughs> excuse me, just this embellishment idea. Uh, and then we have Caspian horns just to hit home this one note, right? Again, wet in uh, performance samples, Caspian, six inch horns, um, you know, in black hole, right? So, you know, ha having this all together, it's really, you know, punches this part right? drives the drives that piece not home but just drives that piece till we get to the the uh the deep hit right here right okay so and then we get some fun stuff uh some indie um indie is i can't have well i wasn't able to keep this sample library because it's just so uh so resource heavy, so I made it a, uh, I bounced it out, so you could, so you can still hear it as I talk about it live. Um, but Indie is by uh, Sona Kinetic, and they have it's they're kind of like fancy loops, is 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 the idea, um, and then you know they're chord controlled and really well, really well recorded. But yeah, so here's a, my string layer of that. So helping with the texture at the beginning, right? creating some darkness. So again, yeah, really pretty loops there. Um, so I do that, and then do that again with some brass, right? And get some more, some more depth, brass and woodwinds. And then I do it again with tuned percussion. So you can hear me, you know, messing with around with the loop there. Right, so all the indie loops together. Again, they're really there for background on the on the violin, right? So everything together here. Make sure I'm not playing anything that I don't want to hear. Okay, here we go. And yeah, so that's it. So that's kind of like, you know, making my little background process see in my mind's eye i guess whatever <laughs> uh but uh yeah uh thanks for watching and uh we'll catch you on the next one thanks